ഇപ്പോൾ നോക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് പ്ലസ് ടു ഇംഗ്ലീഷിലെ ഹൊറകല്ലോ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ചാപ്റ്ററിൻ്റെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസുമാണ് അപ്പോൾ അതിന് മുമ്പ് ഈ ചാനൽ ആരെങ്കിലും സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യാനുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇതേ വീതം സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്ത് സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുക നമ്മൾ ചാപ്റ്ററിലേക്ക് നോക്കാം ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ വൺ വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ ഹൊറകല്ലോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഇറ്റ്സ് പർപ്പസ് എ ഹൊറകല്ലോ ഇസ് എ സ്റ്റോൺ ബെഞ്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഹെൽപ്സ് ടയർഡ് പേഴ്സൺ ടു സിറ്റ് ഡൗൺ ആൻഡ് റെസ് ഫോർ സം ടൈം സോ ദാറ്റ് ദേ ക്യാൻ റിഗെയിൻ ദർ എനർജി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ടു വാട്ട് ആർ ദ സ്പെഷ്യൽ മെമ്മറീസ് ദ ഓതർ അസോസിയേറ്റ്സ് വിത്ത് ഹൊറകല്ലോ The special memories the author associates with Horagalu are about her grandfather sitting on the Horagalu talking with village, uh, villagers uh, who work in the nearby fields. Her grandfather was a retired school teacher and he would sit on the Horagalu under the banyan tree in the village. The tired villagers uh, would come and sit on the stone bench and talk to her grandfather. When she felt tired after playing, she would also sit near her grandfather listening to the conversation he was having with the villagers resting there. Question 3. How does grandfather refresh the travelers? The grandfather refreshed the travelers just by listening to them. The villagers would talk of their troubles to him and he would listen. This seemed to refresh them. Question 4. Is Horagalu essential in a journey? Why? Horagalu is essential in a journey. Uh, any journey involves some distance. Uh, life itself is supposed to be a journey. Every now and then we need to sit down and refresh ourselves. There is nobody in this world that does not have problems of some sort. A sympathetic listener will help the person with troubles to relieve himself of his burden at least temporarily. Question 5. Horagalu gives everyone the opportunity to regain their strength. What does the author try to indicate here? It is true that Horagalu gives everyone the opportunity to regain their strength. Life is a journey and we all need Horagalus every now and then to regain our energy. The author is trying to tell us that we too must uh, must be like the Horagalu. We may not be in a position to help everybody to solve the problems, but at least we can give a s- people a sympathetic hearing and it will help them. Question 6. Bring out the symbolic uh, significance of the word burden. Burden symbolically means our troubles and tribulations. There is nobody in the world that has no problems at all. Each, pro- uh, each problem is a burden. When we share our problem, our burden will, uh, with others, it will definitely relieve us. Question 7. Comment on the expression infectious cheerfulness. Infectious means contagious, uh, something that spread fast. Like certain disease, uh, emotions are also infectious in the sense that they spread fast. When you attempt a funeral, everyone wears a sad look. But when you attend a wedding, you have a happy look. A smiling people, uh, person brings a smile to your face. A cheerful person makes you also cheerful. And this, it, and this it's infectious. Uh, question 8. What does Ratna do during lunch hours? During lunch hours, Ratna would sit with some person in one of the rooms and they would be chatting. Question 9. Uh, what is uh, Ratna's simplistic outlook? Her simplistic outlook is God that God has given her uh, two years to listen uh, to others. She is not trained counselor or an intellectual and she can't solve uh, people's problem. They have to do it themselves. She simply listens to the people with sympathy, sympathy and without any judgment. She believes that when a person in stress uh, finds an outlet for his worries, It relieves him a lot. Question 10. The author wished there were many more Horagalus in the world. Comment. A Horagalu is a stone bench who, on which tired people can rest and regain their energy. Such stones are usually under shady trees. Tired travelers unburden themselves, sit and talk to some sympathetic listener. Life is a, life is a journey and we all are travelers. Each one of us carries burden of various sorts. If there is some uh, patient and sympathetic listener, we can unburden ourselves and feel relieved. The Horagalu uh, will not solve your problem but it gives you a temporary relief. The author expects each of us to be a Horagalu. That's the thing I write like question number one. Uh, do you think that the grandfather and uh, Radna were doing some tremendous social service? Explain. I do think that uh, grandfather and Ratna were doing tremendous social service. They used to sit down and calmly listen to the problems of people have. They listen to the people with sympathy and no judgment. By opening their mind, people feel relieved. The grandfather and Ratna might not have solved people's problem, but they are simply Horagalus giving the problem giving the temporary relief from their inner burden. 
can we relate uh, relate grandfather and ratna to a horagalu why we can definitely relate grandfather and uh, aunt ratna to a horagalu because they helped people in unburden unburdening themselves a horagalu under a shady tree sometimes with cool drinking water nearby lets the people carrying burden sit for a while and relax getting back their energy by taking to the grandfather and ratna people also felt relieved uh, burden are lightened when they are shared in this sense they both are horagalus adutha question number 1 uh, activity la question number 1 ratna in horagalu says god has given me uh, given me two years to listen to others i heard them out with sympathy and without any judgment when a person uh, in trouble or under a lot of strain finds an outlet for his worries it relieves half of his burden do you think mere listening can solve a problem identify the qualities of a good listener mere listening can't solve a problem the qualities of a good listener include attention interest sympathy making agreements giving suggestions and bring, uh, be not judgmental b imagine namita gets a chance to talk to ratna how would she present her worries beginners uh, follows i am namita yesterday i had a quarrel with my husband to answer no can uh, namita i am i am namita yesterday i had a call with my husband um that now what happened namita namita uh, we received he received a letter written to me by my mother he read and left it in his pocket after 3 days when i checked the po- uh, checked his pockets before giving the dirty clothes to the washerman i found it uh, crumbled and torn when i asked him why he opened my letter and even refused to give it to me later uh, he rudely told me he would do what he wants that now he said that and that he did he further asked me what i could do i was intrigued i saw a match box lying near uh, a little match and put it into my sari which caught fire aratna goodness how could you do that namita i was mad with anger i wanted to tell him that i can also do things ratna and then namita just was shocked and he came running uh, and put out the fire i could see uh, remorse in his face i am sure he will not challenge me again in future ratna but namita you had gone too far in setting fire to yourself namita well uh, men sometimes need shock treatments to bring them to their senses at the activity 2 like question number 2 ana uh, read the passage on the page 29 and pick out the adjectives and categorize them based on the uh, based on the nature of their description po nammal correct aayi edittund adjectives ella ivide divide cheyi edittund now rewrite the passage substituting the adjective without any change in meaning it was big level stone uh, placed horizontally or a couple of upright ones thus making a hard bench on which anyone could sit and rest a while chat with a cow traveler and exchange news of the road cold water would be kept in clay pots uh, near the bench and people could quench their thirst before starting their journeys again i'm certain the same uh, ac agree uh, ac arrangements can be found in the villages Uh, all over the country and the question 3 uh, in this unit you have got acquainted with several women characters both real and fictitious the following ex- excerpts present their ideas around empowerment po namu korche statements vandirund now attempt a comparison of these women with regard to their ideas on being empowered there are six women in the above quotations giving their own view views on empowerment asha purna devi thinks that women have a lot of power but they don't utilize it properly she feels women are like match boxes which they which people kept in their kitchen pantry bedroom or even in their pockets katherine tinan is sympathetic and kind she is epitome of a good mother who gives her children unconditional love uh, she thinks that only women have the power to give such love and warmth to the family members ratna is also uh, sympathetic and she listen to the problems of others she never tells the secrets of those who thirst trust 
her and tell her all of their problems. Namita wants to be independent, but her husband does not allow her to be so. She is uh, severe and resentful of her husband's behavior, but she can hardly change him. Sudha Murthy wants people to be horagalus so that they can share the burdens of others. Uh, Christian Lagarde wants pre- uh, women to work for meeting their Mm, potential she feels uh, women are denied opportunities in education jobs and also leadership positions she is very domina- uh, domineering and she wants women to assert themselves against all kinds of discrimination against them that's activity for Anna and answers uh, question number one what is the theme of the advertisement the theme is the importance of reading question number two according to the advertisement what is the threat faced by readers today according to the advertisement the threat faced by readers today is the digital world which takes people away from reading books question number three what are the advantages of reading reading has many advantages it helps you to reach another world and thus you can escape from your problems books are beyond imagination a book is always a reliable companion in sorrow and joy in disease and health books are good companions children who read books will be happy for with books you can enjoy more than with a computer or pick out the advertisement word or, or phrases and clauses used to uh, used for the purpose of description um, Take you to another world, escape daily problems beyond imagination, reliable companion, happy, distracted by uh, the digital world, wonderland of sparkling details, spacious and air conditioned reading hall, study the tips about clause, adjective clause and phrase and adjective phrase in page 31. And it's activity 5 on us. Are these similes attractive? Why? These, they are attractive because the picture we get in those similes are vivid. We easily understand them. Similes are powerful way of describing things. Question number two. Can you coin similar similes using appropriate adjectives? As black as hell. As blind as bat. As blind as a bat. As bold as brass. As brave as a lion. As busy as a bee. As cheap as dirt. As clean as a whistle. As clear as day, as clumsy as an elephant, as cold as marble, as cold as steel or stone, as cool as a cucumber, as cunning as a fox, as dark as death. For C, no come. Uh, given number, uh, given on page number thirty-two, is it the brochure brochure of a female film festival? Go through it and fill in the blanks, uh, spaces appropriately. Answers, no come. Hello and welcome, as of uh, as fresh as daisies. As gay as a peacock. At the second, film at a glance. As pure as a lily emitter, uh, uh, my friend. As sharp as an arrow. As empty as a drum. English, English. As sweet as a candy makala, makalku. As heavy as lead. As soothing as a lullaby. At the activity 6 7. Now we cinema. Apam, I am going to show you how to do this. I am going to show you how to do this. I am going to show you how to do this. This is the first film. Question 7 Given below is the opening paragraph of a review prepared by a student of class at all. There are a, f- there are a few. Errors in it, identify them and refine the paragraph. Gone with the Wind um, One of the classic films that define American cinema, Gone with the Wind, is a rare example of the collaboration involving hundreds of talents and film turned out great. For millions of people, Gone with the Wind has helped to de- uh, define the myth and reality of the country's most tragic period in history, the Civil War and Reconstruction. The popularity of... Uh, the popularity of... Uh, Blackett Mitchell's uh, best-selling novel allowed the filmmaker to be confident and su- uh, confident of its success. Of course, uh, proper attention to costumes and sets was paid. The film's visual effects, especially the burning of Atlanta, are indeed effective and memorable. It's Activity 8 for the project, Anna. 
നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം പ്രിപ്പയർ ദ ക്ലാസ് മാഗസിൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡിങ് സ്റ്റോറീസ് പോയം അനക്ഡോട്ട്സ് റിവ്യൂ ഓഫ് പ്രോസ് ആൻഡ് പോയംസ് എറ്റ്സെട്ര ഓർഗനൈസ് എ ഫിലിം ഓർ ഓർഗനൈസ് എ ഫിലിം ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽ ഓൺ വിമൻ ഇൻക്ലൂഡിങ് ഫിലിം വിത്ത് സ്ട്രോങ് വിമൻ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫിലിംസ് ബൈ വിമൻ ഫിലിം മേക്കേഴ്സ് ആൻസർ നോക്കാം അവർ സ്കൂൾ ഫിലിം ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽ ദ സ്കൂൾസ് ആർട്സ് ക്ലബ് ഓർഗനൈസ് എ ഫിലിം ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽ ഓൺ വിമൻ വി ചോസ് ത്രീ ഫിലിംസ് വിത്ത് സ്ട്രോങ് വിമൻ ക്യാരക്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫിലിം It's by women directors. The three films are Daughter of the Dust, Down in the Delta and City, City of Angels. The festival lasted three days, 15 to 17 January 2015. The festival was concluded with a ceremony presided, by, uh, presided uh, over by Devadi, an actor and filmmaker from mm-hmm. South India. The, film, uh, the first film shown was Daughter of the Dust, released in 1991. It is a story of a family living in America. whose ancestors were brought as slaves from Nigeria the matter of the film summarizes the issues presented uh, in the story by saying we are two people in one body there is the african in them and there and then there is the western it talks of the gen- uh, generational split uh, the direction and screenplay is by julie marsh music is by john burns barbara jones alva rogers corali day Vertame Smart uh, Grosvena and Bahini Peasant play important roles. It is a good film that vividly portrayed, uh, portrays both African, African and American life. The second film shown, is, uh, shown was Down in the Delta, released in 1998. In this film, the fa- a family matriarch sends her two do- grandchildren and her drug-addicted daughter Loretta to small Mississippi town uh, to save them from the dangers of the big city of Chicago. There, Loretta works... Uh, Uh, in a chicken joint there she and her children prosper the film is directed by maya angelo the main actors are altrey woodart wesley snipes and will sinclair it is a good film that tells us that even drug addicts can be reformed and brought back to good life the third film shown was city of angels released in 1998 this is the story of seth an angel who vanishes the los angels are invisible to humans as persons are about to die he becomes invisible to them and becomes their traveling companion during their trip to the other world soon angel falls in love with maggie a beautiful her surgeon she comes interested in seth but his condition as an angel becomes a barrier than a gift a choice must be made between celestial duty and earthly love although there this is an impossible story it is told in a nice way and thus it becomes an inter- interesting film the director is brad uh, Silvery music is by Gabriel Yard and the screenplay is by Dana Stevens, Nicholas Cake, Meg Ryan and Andre Brower, Dennis Franz and Colm Ferrari is in the lead roles. The film festival uh, concluded by closing ceremony presented by by the famous act- actor and director Revathi. She said that Indian women are not coming forward to make films because they think film uh, direction is mainly meant for men in kerala we have so many famous film directors and they are are men not even a single female director with any name uh, this has to change there are famous women directors like meera nair uh, she hoped that a new generation in girls will venture into film direction uh, that they can tell the story the way they want after a vote of thanks by the secretary of ceremony came to close list job secretary arts club appo idana nammada chapter thank you